this game was all Air Force from start to finish. BMAC, uh, as you take a look at this rushing attempt and this rushing attack from the Falcons, I mean, it, they dominated this game. No question. Not surprised because when you look at how both teams played last week, everything was in favor of Air Force coming out and dominating, especially in the line of, at the line of scrimmage. And that's what we saw throughout four quarters of today's ball game. All right, let's take a look back at what went down. Navy and Air Force from Annapolis. 54th meeting between these two service academies. Home teams won eight straight games, but Navy has lost the last six games overall. Air Force looking for their first win at Navy since 2011. Hope you had the under in this one. Mm, please tell me you had it. Uh, just over a minute left in the half. Down three, nothing is Air Force. Brad Roberts in for the touchdown. Air Force takes a 7-3 lead. They take that lead into halftime. Uh, the combined first half offense, one for eight passing, 118 total yards, one touchdown. Mm. One completion for 10 yards in that first half. Air Force on to punt late in the third. Charles Ooh. Fine handles a low snap, punts away, but Navy hits him low on the play, roughing the kicker. Can't do that. Now Air Force with a first down at the Navy 41-yard line. Three plays later, Hazik Daniels on the triple option. Nice play. 28-yard touchdown, BMAC. Nice, nice play. Nice play. Love the execution. Air Force takes a 14-3 lead. Air Force 92 and 10 when leading after wow. the third quarter under head coach Troy Calhoun. Bad snap safety. Air Force 16 to 3. Ken Niamatololo and his guys need to clean that up. Nothing going the way of the midshipmen. Then Brad Roberts, second touchdown of the game. Air Force wins its first game at Annapolis since 2011 as they go on to win by 20, 23 to 3. Hazik Daniels, one rushing touchdown in this game, had three last week, and uh, they hand Navy a seventh straight loss. That's going back to last season. That's the longest losing streak under head coach Ken Niamatololo. 330 days since their last win as they start this year, 0-2. And, and of those seven games, seven points or less uh, in five straight games. So it has not been a good stretch for Navy as Air Force comes out victorious. And we told you to take the under Please. here on CBS Sports HQ. The game goes well under the total of 39 and a half. The under now 38, nine and two in service academy games dating back to 2005. Also, Air Force covers the six on the road. All right, so Air Force gets another win, another loss for Navy. Uh, this is back to back losses for Navy for Ken Niamatololo. Got uh, just absolutely dominated last week against Marshall. Couldn't get anything going in the red zone, couldn't stop anything in the red zone, and here couldn't get anything offensively going in this game against Air Force BMAC. Yeah, that has been the issue for them on both sides of the football field. You know, losing the battle at the line of scrimmage. We saw that last week against Marshall, and Air Force came out and basically did the same thing. And one issue when you look at Navy's offense, right? We all know offensively the most important down is what? Usually third down. But for their offense, it's first down because if they don't win first down, they get in a very, very difficult second down situation. And of course, that provides a third down tough situation as well. And you look at today's ball game, third down conversion, they only converted one third down out of 12 opportunities. That's not ideal offense. And the reason why they had issues converting those third downs, they lost first down. So they have to find a way to become more creative because we saw the same predictable plays that we saw last week against Marshall. Air Force really sh understood and knew what they were going to get from Navy, and they have to find a way to make adjustments. And that's Navy's offense, basically, because they, they're so generic and just and, and it's just basically a one-trick pony. So we all felt like Air Force was the better team. They proved us right. Not to mention, anytime these teams go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you better take the under. And the under came in big time today for all you guys. Yeah, again, since 2005 in games involving two service academies, the under now 38, 9, and 2. And uh, take a look at Air Force's winning percentage in the Commander and Chiefs trophy games uh, in this series, 636. Air Force hasn't won the Commander and Chiefs trophy uh, since 2016, but they've won 20 in all. Navy last one in 2019. Army took home the trophy last season, so Air Force looking to recapture the Commander-in-Chief's trophy this year.
Right, let's get back out to the site. Welcome in CBS Sports lead sideline reporter Jamie Erdahl. Jamie, give us your perspective. What was it like being there in Annapolis on this specific day? It was emotional. It was a lot. I'll tell you, it was hard to really talk football with these guys in the days leading up to this game because you felt like you wanted to talk about some other stuff that had gone on in our lifetime. Uh, but obviously Air Force focused in, they got the job done, but as a whole, the day you could tell there was a buzz in the air. Uh, Service Academy football, it is a bit of an adjustment to watch and take in, but as far as the atmosphere here today, Annapolis was glowing with pride, I would say, on the 20th anniversary. Air Force's rushing attack was dominant in this game. 176 yards on the ground, three rushing touchdowns. That's really the theme and the narrative in terms of what Air Force does. That's their identity. That's really what you said in terms of Service Academy. Their identities is running the football. Air Force now off to a 2-0 start. Jamie, what did this win mean for head coach Troy Calhoun and the Falcons program? Well, it was kind of an odd year, especially after last season when Air Force, they thought the only games that they were going to play was going to be Service Academy football, but then their season shifted within the Mountain West. This game gets moved up to 9-11 as we just spoke to the emotions behind the 20th anniversary here. So it felt like there was a lot on these guys' plates. So for Air Force to pull this one off, I think Coach Calhoun was extremely proud of these guys coming in and winning on the road for the first time in, in 10 years, which is wildly impressive. And it was a grind. All 176 of those rushing yards, I would say, were earned. Brad Roberts got beat up today, but he certainly got the job done at the line of scrimmage. Air Force stepping up, going on the road to beat Navy 23-3. Jamie Erdahl joining us post game here on CBS Sports HQ. Jamie, thank you. Thanks, guys. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.